Hello, all you coin collectors out there, and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, I want to tell you a story about some 1975 U.S. dimes, the so-called famous S-less dime from 1975. Now, as you know, uh, there are a number of mints that make United States dimes, and uh, there is the Philadelphia Mint, which does not put a mint mark on it. There is the Denver Mint, and we'll kind of take a look at the D here. And then there is the San Francisco Mint, which produces dimes with the S on them. And those are the so-called proof dimes. So they only come in proof sets, and they all have the S on them. That is, they all had the S on them in 1975, except for two that are known. And what they did was they forgot to put this S in there. And so they call it the 1975 S-less dime, the dime without the S. Now, if we look at these coins, we see that they all have Franklin Roosevelt on the front facing to the left. It says Liberty in front of him. In God we trust under his chin. Down here we have the date. And then here we have the initials. And the initials here are a J-S, and that's for John Sinek who originally de de designed this dime, sorry about that, um, in 1938. But this dime, actually, it's, this present series comes from 1965 when they moved away from the silver and went to a copper nickel-clad copper dime. So if we look at these dimes, we can see uh, that they uh, have some copper in them. And even, even on this proof dime, we can see, in fact, the copper looks very shiny on a proof dime. If we flip them over, we see that they all have the same reverse. And that is the torch and the oak and the olive. So the oak for strength with the oak leaves and the acorns. The olive uh, for peace with the olive branch and the torch of liberty here. It says United States of America across the top one dime at the bottom, and you can just see, if I kind of get the light right, how shiny this proof coin is. So this is a proof coin, and it's a San Francisco proof coin, but it, it is the S coin with the S on it. So it might be worth a dollar or two, but it's not worth uh, too much more than that. And these coins here, the D for Denver, the blank for Philadelphia, and the other blank for Philadelphia, so the no mint mark here from Philadelphia. Philadelphia, they did not put the mint marks on the P coins in 1975. Those ones all um, are worth, these top ones are all worth probably under a dollar. Um, in this condition, maybe even less than that. In the uh, An uncirculated one of the Philadelphia might be worth a dollar plus. So not very expensive coins, um, but it's good to have them in your collection. And so we have all of them in our collection here except for the S-less dime. So if you're looking for the S-less dime, you look for the Roosevelt. Um, you look for this kind of um, finish on it, which is the proof finish where it, you can actually see a pen or a shine in it. You can't really, even an uncirculated dime can never be mistaken by anybody who looks closely with a proof dime. So if you find this dime, in a proof condition like this without the S on it, it's probably worth somewhere around $300,000. One of them sold for $349,000 in 2011. And as far as I can tell from the PCGS website, there are two known dimes that have been certified as no S dimes. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Oh, I could tell you that in 1975, they made 586 million of the Philadelphia, 314 million of the Denver, and 2.8 million of the proof sets. So the proofs, none of them are rare, except for the, that proof set that does not have the S on it, or a couple rare error coins. All right, have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.